Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so we're gonna work on our trunk lid. Now I'm gonna make this quick, but I'm gonna tell you the backstory. So I started off with a trunk lid that there was nothing wrong with. So then I had to fix it. So I went and cut the entire frame to where it's just a skin. And for some reason I was like, hey, I knew it would save weight if I got rid of all that metal, the latch, the springs, the hinges, just everything, just leave the skin. But what I didn't think about is the fact that it would warp, which it did, it warped a ton. So, I tried to fix it. You'll see some weld marks here. I went and cut a curve. It basically warped like this, but you can see it's fairly flat now, but I've been messing with it. So it was warped like hell. So then I like tried to build this piece of metal. It didn't really work. And I was like, okay, screw it. I'll just buy a new one. So I bought this. This is a fiberglass one from Treasure Coast or whoever, I don't remember. I think it was Treasure Coast. Could have been someone else. Yeah, it was someone else. Anyway, I bought this. I was like, yeah, it's more warped than the other one. Granted, it's fiberglass. You can damn near see the curvature over here. I don't know if that really shows up, but that tail, that corner over there is pretty curved. I don't know. I thought this would be straight. It's not. Whatever. And then I thought about trying to work with it. It's fiberglass. I don't know. Yeah, you could make it work. So then I went back and said, okay, maybe I can make this one work after all. How though? How do I get it straight? How do I attach it to the vehicle? I really don't want to do like hood pins or, you know, whatever. I don't want it to be externally visible, which is funny because I think I have, well, I know I have at least one set in here and we may have to use these if we really like get put in a bind. Yeah, here they are. These things, they're like little buttons. They're kind of low pro, yeah, it says low profile. Anyway, I got like one set of these, but to do the trunk lid, you'd need two sets of these and then you'd have these buttons poking up. I don't really like that. I like the sleek look of a factory body. So we're gonna try to do that. So, okay, that's the backstory. Enough rambling. I am not saying this is gonna work. Everything I've done so far has failed. So, this may just be for you guys' amusement. So what I did, I drilled some holes here and here, and I gotta do some more up here, but we'll get to it. And I grabbed some bolts, which I don't know if I can weld to these, but maybe ground some of the black oxide off and then I put a nut on both sides which you can't really see the other one but I promise you there's another nut hiding and then you can move the nut up and down which changes the spacing to move the trunk lid up and down and eventually I got it to where the four corners were kind of pretty close so I did that and then I just started manually bending this with my hands and then if you put a weight here like watch this if I lift this up you'll see well, it doesn't really look that bad off camera, but it's too high. If I set this down here, then it gets a lot better, which on camera looks low. Maybe it is low. Okay, so that's a little too much weight. But the point is, I was trying to get it roughly where it goes. I grabbed some spacers to try to keep the gaps pretty even. They're slightly tighter in the back here. That's because my quarter panels sucked in a little bit. I could try to fix that. It's really not that bad. You can see here it's about right. That'd be a lot of work. I kind of welded the quarter panels to these uh, wheel wells. So you're gonna be bending metal and stuff. I don't know, I might try to fix it. We'll worry about that later. So anyway, it's pretty close. It actually looks like right here, if you follow this line, that's actually pretty flat. I'm not saying it's perfect, but I was so far off before that I'll, I'll accept that. That needs to come back a little. Anyway, that's not the point. She's not perfectly aligned. The point is, if the system works, once the bolts were welded to the deck lid, to remove it, all you would have to do is just come under here and spin a few nuts off and it would come right off. But you could also spin the nuts to move each individual bolt area up and down to attempt to level the deck lid and get it, you know, roughly looking good. Which frankly, it looks pretty good right now after bending it around some. I actually was able to bend a lot of the warp out. It was way worse than this earlier. Okay, so with all that said, we're gonna attempt this. So, I think our next move, I do not want to weld directly to that. Not right now. I've already tried that, it doesn't really work. So instead, I think that, like I said, I don't have, you can tell I don't have a lot of confidence. I don't know if this is gonna work. This thing has just kicked my ass. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go get a piece of steel, cut out some squares. We're just gonna mark this with a Sharpie, just generally where the bolt is. And I'm gonna go get some sheet metal and tack weld the sheet metal to this, I think. I'm afraid to glue it. I don't know if it would actually hold like long term. So I'm probably gonna try to weld it 
and hope I don't fuck the deck lid up too much. I just need to tack it, a piece of plate, tack it to the factory uh, sheet metal in all four spots. You can see here, these are like on the edge of a piece of sheet metal. That's kind of weird. We got to figure that out. But the point is, we're going to mark those and put some sheet metal in those areas to where the bolt heads hit that, which I'll have to readjust them all, but that's fine. But if I can do that and hopefully not warp the panel too bad, then when I come in here and weld the bolts to that other plate, it shouldn't warp the panel any further. That's the hope. Is this going to work? We don't know. But this is what we're going to attempt. And you can see in the middle, we probably need to add a bolt or two there as well. So that's the plan. We are going to do something, try to make this happen, and see how it goes. And if it all fails, then I guess we'll try a fourth time, or I don't even know at this point. I guess the only other option is buy a factory trunk lid. And they're like $300 to $400 for a stupid trunk lid. It's insane. So I guess if we have to, we'll buy one. But even if I buy one, I still got to figure out how to attach it to the car. I just want it to deal with it being crooked. So let's give this a shot, see if this works. All right, guys. So we've redone again how I think we're going to do this. And we're going to do a test spot and see if it works. So new plan. Instead of trying to weld, we talked about putting plates, but they're right on the edge. It's kind of a pain. And actually, look, we can, now that's off the car, I can show you. I would have had to reach past this, this way, and try to weld that. It'd be difficult to weld. And then if the alignment's off, you're kind of screwed. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to weld a plate in this area. And then weld the bolt to the plate. And then lastly, there's nothing here. We'll build a piece that goes from here to here. And it'll actually bolt to the car. Which is great because I don't have to weld it. But it also means this part... Like, say the trunk needs to go this way or this way or whatever. I can just turn this piece or make a new one. It doesn't require welding. It's not permanent, and I'm not drilling. Like, I don't have to wallow these holes out or drill them again or something. I can just change this piece. So, I think it's better. And potentially, I could even, like, weld a spacer onto it to where you don't have to deal with that. <clears throat> so, anyway, that's the thought. And win or fail, this is what we're going to do. This could be great, this could be a mistake. I just happen to have all these like pieces I bought. <clears throat> these are 304 stainless samples for like practice welding. I cut them to 2.67 inches and I beveled the edges with a 60 degree edge. You... Maybe that shows up, I don't know. But anyway, there's a bevel. Make it a little easier to weld. And I clean the metal <clears throat> and then on the back side, I've got a soaking wet rag laying up against the steel to try to keep it cool and uh, hopefully not melt through the base metal as much. This piece here is thicker than the skin of the trunk lid, but like I said, I beveled it to help. And we're only putting a little bitty tacks. The goal is we just need to tack this down to the sheet metal in a few spots so it doesn't move, and then we can come in here and weld a bolt right onto that plate without worrying about screwing the trunk lid up, I think. So that's the goal. Metal's clean, got a heat sink under it, we're gonna grab, we beveled our edges. We're gonna grab our TIG welder and basically just go and try to hit it really fast. I might even see if we can fusion weld this. I don't know if that'll work, but you won't know if you don't try. Maybe we'll try that because that's the fastest way to do it. So we might try that, see if we can't fusion weld this to that just really quickly. I'd rather use filler. Well, we may try it both ways, I don't know. But our goal is to get this attached and try not to distort the panel, you know, as little as possible. Because when we did this last time, it definitely distorts. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we just tack welded the first plate on and afterwards I did a little sanding. I wanted to see like how bad is the distortion? How hard is this gonna be to repair? And it's hard to capture on a video. So I'll try. It's not painted so it's hard to judge a curve. It's not that bad, but it's going to require a lot of sanding and painting and probably some bondo on a small level. So this spot, this spot, and at least this one are from previous stuff. This is what we just did. There is a bump right here. I can still feel it. And if you look in the camera, you can see a little bump there. That tiny one. These weren't as bad. I think this one was worse. That's the first one I did. Eh, a little bit there. Anyway. It's fixable. I don't love this. I went back and looked at panels. Man, it's like $500 for a trunk lid that's the wrong color and still has to be painted. So we're going to try again. We still got to put some more plates on this. 
might reconsider if I'm really going to put seven because this is creating a lot of work to have to fix. Uh, maybe we'll try five and see if that works. But that's what it looks like, for better or worse. Really hard to capture. It's going to have to get some Bondo or paint or something to, to fix this. But I think it's fixable. I can tell from the paint on this car is kind of thick. I never... I mean, you don't really pay attention to stuff like that. How would you? Like, here's some spots where I welded these. Maybe that shows up. I guess by the time you go to, like, primer and uh, base coat, clear coat, it's actually kind of thick. So there's, like, a hump just from the paint being sanded. I took and used a couple different tools to try to clean that up. Yeah, give it a little optical zoom. That's what it looks like up close. It's not horrible. You can see that little spot. That's where the weld is, so that needs uh, some filler, and this whole area just needs to be kind of lightly filled and sanded to get it level. It's fixable. I don't love it. Ah, whatever. We're going to try this. If we abandon it, we abandon it. But at this point, I'm going to cut my plates. I'm going to install at least four more, if not six more. Do the corners, like here, here, there, there. But we're going to put one here and one here. We'll see. It does warp the panel, and create more work for sanding so we may just do the five and if that looks like it'll work we'll just stick with that so i guess we're going to keep going but yeah this whole deck lid is probably the whole thing's going to have to get sanded down and painted that sucks but frankly the car needs a paint job anyway look what we did to the wheel wells so anyway onwards and upwards not excited but maybe this will come back around and be better in the end gotta hope so okay so here's where we're at so far we got our five plates mounted, which I don't think I've actually showed you all that yet. But here's what the top looks like. So they're not, it's not bolted down, it's just sitting there. I've got some, I actually have some temporary adjustments that are kind of holding it in place. It looks good enough. It ain't perfect. The trunk lid itself is slightly twisted, and that's part of it. And it kills me, but I'm going to let this slide because it would cost several hundred dollars to get a slightly better panel. And this is a race car. So it kills me, but we're going to leave it. So, all right, now we got to get it bolted to the car. Let me show you what it looks like from the underside, just so you guys know what we're working with. There's one of them. There's another. That's the middle plate, and there's two on this side as well. So the goal is we're going to build something on the car that reaches out and grabs that plate in all of these places. That's the goal. So, I think it's going to work kind of a pain in the butt to do this but it gets rid of the hinge and the latch and we don't have hood pins that show or whatever trunk pins whatever you want to call it so that part i do like all right we're going to take a look we're going to pick it up on the lift take a look at it and maybe do some more work because it's almost 10 o'clock at night so about time to knock off all right guys so it's the next day we were too tired last night to continue but we're back so here's what we did we grabbed our bolts. These are grade eight. And normally, well, these have like a black oxide coating. But what I did was I ground the head to get the black oxide off. And then I welded, I put like four or five little tacks to the plate. We got that on all of these. So they're all put in. And here's what you'll notice. Like if we come over here, let's get uh, up close. So you'll see we've got our, let's see, here we go. We've got this bolt with this hole. And this is right next to it. So we're not going to use these bolts to hold up the uh, trunk. Right now they are. There's a nut on the top and it's pushing the bolt up to get our spacing. So if we come out here, you'll see our panels. Not bad. Not perfect, but they're close. This is final adjustments after all this stuff's built anyway. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a caliper and I'm going to measure with a caliper accurately the distance from this hole to this hole. So what I'll do is I'll get a caliper like this and I'll measure that these are quarter inch bolts. So if I take this measurement, whatever it shows, if you subtract a quarter inch, which is an eighth inch on this side, an eighth inch on this side, that'll tell you the center to center distance between these two bolts. And we're gonna do that for all of these. Now this one, I still gotta drill the hole. So I gotta do that real quick, but we'll drill a hole in that one. We'll get our measurements and then we're just gonna go mark it out in a piece of steel and make our five adapters. Once they're built, we're gonna take all of this back off. These bolts come out forever. And then we're gonna bolt our little adapters in. And once they're in, finally, you'll lower this on 
and we'll put like a lock nut and maybe dual lock nuts, I don't know. But anyway, you'll be able to turn the lock nuts up and down to raise and lower each individual area. And then this hole that goes here, I'll probably make like, say it's a quarter inch bolt. I'll probably make the holes, you know, five sixteenths or three eighths or something to where I could actually loosen it and then shift the panel forward or left and right and then tighten it down so friction locks it in position. This one will still be a quarter inch hole or close so that when you drop the panel on it, it maintains its alignment. That way you don't have to align the panel every time it comes off. Not that I expect this to come off very often because like you don't really need a trunk on a race car. There's nothing's the only thing that's going to be back here. I mean, there's this stuff, but you don't need the who cares about the trunk. You access this stuff from the bottom. There'll be a battery. That's it. And you don't have to access it back here to charge it. Uh, there'll be a charging plug on the front and back of the car that don't require any anything. You just it'll just be hanging there, so you can just plug it in and charge if you need to. So I don't anticipate ever having to take this panel off. That's why we're bolting it down. Uh, not that this is intentional, but it also, in theory, will be slightly structural. So my body work back here was a little floppy. Like probably didn't show up on video very good. Eh, yeah, it does a little bit. So when the trunk lid's bolted to all this, it'll become structural a tiny bit for what that's worth. Not that I care. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Pop this hole in here, get our measurements, and build our plates. Probably just gonna use some uh, probably eighth inch thick steel plate. Probably gonna do these out of steel just for strength and rigidity. And here's our paper. So this is our five marks, our five spots like that. We got our caliper. So we're gonna grab our measurements and get to building. Okay, so we measured our tabs, we calculated the numbers, got them cut out. They're roughly installed, so they're slightly loose. Like if we come to this one, you can jiggle a little bit. So these holes are quarter inch, but the ones here are five sixteenths. So it gives it a little bit of room to like move and of course they can swing. So hopefully with all that adjustment, we'll be able to get the trunk lid lined up. So, and of course we do the up and down with the bolts on this. Well, let's see if this works. All right, so we got our brackets put in. This actually went pretty much how we expected. Uh, the only thing we had to change these bolts out here for hex bolts, we couldn't access the top to hold a, uh, a socket head cap screw so that we could tighten the nut. But anyway, we've got a lock this is a lock nut on the top and a regular on the bottom. So you spin the regular one off, the lock nut stays. That way the next time you put it back on, it lands at the correct height. Anyway, let me show you how this turned out. There it is. It's not bad. The panel is slightly warped. Some of that's from welding or just a lot of it, I guess, is probably just from removing all the structure underneath. But it's got a trunk lid. And the more I back up, the better it looks. But I'm just glad that this is on there. It's close enough, and it could be tweaked and get it a little bit better. But it's really not bad. If you look at it here, these two gaps are about the same. They close in slightly here. That's because the quarter panel's moved. I really could probably adjust that out if I wanted to. But that's not the goal today. The goal was to just get this panel on, and the gaps look pretty decent. And like I said, the panel is mostly straight. If we get look at it like this... Actually, it looks good on camera. In person, like there's a teeny little dip right there. It's not much. So I'm calling this a success. God, that was a lot of work. I probably shouldn't have cut the hinges off and the car part that the hinge hooked to. I actually did consider, I was like, hey, just go buy a trunk lid and bolt it on. But there's nothing to bolt it to. I cut all that metal off. So I was like, okay, even if I buy one, I still got to fabricate to get it lined up. And I was like, well, let's just finish this. It would probably work. And it did. And it's actually more structural now so like this front edge that's kind of floppy there's nothing there but all of this it's all tied together now i guess the skin's floppy but anyway the point is it's better than it was this is a little bit more supported so good stuff boom trunk lid all right i don't even know what we're doing next i'm just glad that that's done so yay